What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Planet Zoo episode for you guys today and guys we're back here, we are in franchise mode so essentially this is a mode where you can build your own zoos and uh, you've got challenges and you've actually got real money and stuff like that that you have to hold on to and whatnot and uh, yeah we've been playing this for about 5 hours and you can see this is pretty much our zoo at the moment. We've only got 3 enclosures, we've got warthogs and an okapi I believe. Sorry, a sable antelope over here in this little enclosure. We then also have two Komodo dragons over here, and here is one of them. Hello, gorgeous. So we've got those, and then over here we've kind of got like a savanna sort of by, uh, enclosure where we've got ostriches, we've got zebras, we've got wildebeest and buffalo. So we've got those guys. Now, I kind of let it play out while I was having a shower, and uh, a lot of our animals are starving. Really bad. So, I don't know why they are starving for, but things aren't looking too good for our zoo at the moment. So, we kind of have to get that under control before we can continue everything else. So, at the moment, we've got the game paused. We're going to continue it because I need to try and sort out what is going on. Alright, so let's call the vet. Animal is starving. Now, I don't know why these guys are starving for. Okay, low welfare. So... These guys aren't being social. Why? I don't know why they're not social for. They're literally in a field full of all their animals. All right. Dangerous animal has escaped. Uh, we're going to call the vet for that as well. <laughs> Wait. Is that a baby? I think that's the baby Komodo dragon. Because we do have a female and male together. Okay. Habitat 3. Multiple habitats or problems. Species reports. What's going on? All right. So these guys' welfare is just low. And we've got protesters and everything. All right, so the fence is fine. That's good. All right, we've got food in there. So they're all eating. Wait a second. Are the ostriches eating out of that? That possibly could be why they aren't eating. All right, let's get some more food in here because food cage, food tray. Could it be from because of that? Let's chuck one of those down real quick. I want to see if that's the case. Is this a dead zebra? It's just having a nap on the edge of the water. All right, that's that's cool. All right, so in here we should have our Komodo dragons. Yeah, I think they're breeding. Because that looks like a baby. All right, mechanic is en route. Animals. We've got four animals in here. That's probably why. All right, let's get that one and that one. And we're going to move them into... Cancel move. Can we cancel? And can we send them to storage? The breeding, yeah, so the... Alright, we're just going to box them. Whoa! That wasn't supposed to happen. Unbox all animals. Alright, we'll get those guys in. Uh, I want to move these two to the quarantine. Just for the time being. We're going to get a different enclosure set up. Because they will not appreciate being all together. They're probably trying to eat each other. Alright, we've got another animal dead. Animal died, animal is starving. I think it's because... Yeah. All right, let's call the vet. I think that might be why. I think we've put the wrong feeder in. And these guys just have not been eating whatsoever, which is really bad. And I'm a terrible person. Uh, let's take a look here. Temperature, water, land. Size. Where's their food thing? Diet, bird pellets. Yeah, so I think we need to have given them a proper thing. I don't think they eat off these. Oh, look, we got a baby wandering around. A baby wildebeest. That's cute. Look at him. Hey, little dude. How you doing? All right. Animal died. Oh, no. Our common warthog died. Oh, he died of old age. Oh, that means all our other warthogs are going to start dying too. Died of starvation. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so we've got those coming. So most of the zoo is back underway. All right, let's take a look. Mechanic research is complete. Yeah, we just kind of... There was stuff going on everywhere, and it wasn't a good thing. All right. So let's chuck some mechanics on here and here. We've got re vet research complete. That means our other warthogs are going to start dying because of old age. All right, so we've got two vets. Let's. That's fine. They're doing. Inspector is arriving in eight months. Animal rating, guest education rating, guest happiness. All right, we are losing guests, but we are still making money, which is that's a good thing. All right, so you can kind of see we did a walkway up here for all the guests to kind of get a look at. I don't know if putting speakers here disturbs the animals because. Like, I don't know if that would disturb them. 
Incorrect or unassigned education. I think that's the ostriches. Uh, let's go with the zebra. I don't see any zebras. All right. So that's getting educated people. They can see the animals pretty well from up there. This is our staff facility over here. I don't know why we've got people walking around, but we need to build another one of those. I'm thinking over here for the Komodos. All right. That's cleaned. We're going to call a keeper to clean the habitat. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's take a look at our other warthogs because I think... Yeah, they're pretty old as well. 16. How many animals have I got left in here? We had three warthogs, I believe. Yeah, we've got two now on one of the antelopes. Quarantine is passed, ready to leave. All right, so I think I might just sell these guys. Can I sell them straight up? Send animals. Can I not store them? Send animals back to their original habitat? No. Okay. So, let's get these guys in a new enclosure maybe today. So that's that. All right. Can't find an accessible staff room. All right. There is, I mean, that always pops up and then they kind of just fix themselves up. Alright, so I think what we might do is we might build a new staff room. You can see our zoo is very small. We have a lot of stuff to do to it. So, let's go about, what we'll do is we'll grab a path. And we are going, that's the rustic path here. We are going to go like that. And we're going to go down. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be a new staff area. And we'll get it to start sort of curving. I don't know if this is going to work. Or how nice it's going to look. I mean, it's not the nicest, but it looks alright, I guess. Okay, so this is going to be a new keeper area. And then we'll have this path extending out over here to another habitat. So let's come in here. Go construction, uh, architecture, walls. What we need to do first, we're just going to pause it, I think. We'll pause it so we can get this built up. All right, so we'll go with another keeper hut. Keeper hut, keeper hut. I'm not too worried about the animal trade centers. We don't need another one. We do need another keeper hut. So actually, we should probably build this stuff first and then build the path. Let's spin that around. Okay. That can go there. Alright, that's fine, whatever. Um, and what we'll do is, that's the keeper heart. The reason why we're doing it like this is because we're going to make it look nice and pretty. I don't know if we need another quarantine. I do want another research center though, so we'll chuck that there too. Boom. And then we will go with veterinary surgery. Um, and a workshop. Let's go with another staff room and then this can just chill on the back there and we'll spin that around all right boom all right that's done okay so that's built now what we're going to do is we're going to cover it in niceness so i think we'll just go with wood to be honest i think wood's the nicest sort of thing to go on at the moment that we have unlocked anyway you can unlock more as you do more research but at the moment we've just got that so we'll chuck those on and we'll go with some wars here chuck these bad boys on it's not snapped properly. Um, let's fix that up. There we go. All right. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And chuck that on. And we'll go one more there. Okay. Sweet. So that's nice and pretty. Uh, what we'll do is we will go into roofs and flat roofs. And we'll chuck some roofs on top. There we go. That one's not on properly either, so we'll get that and fix that. Up. Boom, look at that. Okay, so now to add a little bit of sort of dimension to it, let's go into here. And do we have anything that we can add to it to make it look a little bit nicer? Kind of do fencing. What else? We've got lights, we've got some boards, we've got some random shapes. Um, hmm. Let's come up the top here. I have an idea. Wait, was that? dinosaur bones no all right so what we'll do is we will let's do a switch we're gonna go this and i think what we'll do is we'll give it an awning so cancel here we go oh. and what we'll do is raise that up a little bit and we'll stick it in a little bit yeah that looks nice all right and we'll go build 
and then we'll build another one over the top of this one. Like a so, done. All right, easy. And then I think we should just build another one over here. Okay, that's fine. Cancel that, and then another one here. Chuck that up a little bit. Done. All right, so that makes it look a little bit prettier. And now what we can do is we can go with architecture and we can go walls. And what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll go with... Oh, how's the one meter? Yeah, that'll do. Drop that down a little bit and spin that around. And then what we can do at the top here is we can make a little bit of a, a garden sort of thing. All right, spin those around. that snapped all properly yep all right what I want to do here as well is I want to sell that one because we put the wrong thing and we're gonna go to that one there we go awesome all right and now what we can do is we can go nature gardening and we'll go with mulch bed four by four that's too small it's four by four the biggest four by four looks like it's the biggest yeah so we'll chuck some mulch down like that, okay, and can we go and put that in between? Kind of. Spin it around. And voila, okay. Now we can chuck some plants up the top here. Let's turn off the snap because that's what's making it go funky. Lobster claws. Make it a little nice garden. And what we can do to make it a bit prettier is we can do this and spin it around. There we go. All right. And lady fern. Get some ferns up in here. Oh, that's nice. All right. And X and fix this bad boy up and just spin it around. Give him a little bit of depth to him. There we go, make them look a little bit different. And that'll do. All right, so that's those ones done. Uh, we want some lady fern too. What else have we got? We've got nettles, Swiss Swiss cheese plant. I've never heard of that before. All right, chuck some of these in. Swiss cheese plant, twin flower. I like these flowers, these are nice. And we'll go with some more there. Okay, and what else we got? Twin flower large, medium, small. Chuck some of those in. And I think that'll do. Oh, we got a lot. Oh, there's a lot more. Oh, damn, I didn't even realize. Chuck some of these through it. Okay, that'll do. So that's our new staff building, so let's close that. And now what we can do is we can grab all of this and we can go move. Look at that and then this can go in here. Is that where we want to chuck it? No, we want it spun around. There we go. So we want that like that. And it's got to have both paths connected. That'll do. All right, so that's our new keeper hut. Uh, probably should build some power back there as well, I guess. Let's hit play on that. I need to see how much staff we have because I don't even know how many we've got. All right, caretakers. You can periodically train staff up. Let's train you. All right. Past it's the dragons. Okay, so we've got four keepers working, commuting, resting, resting, working, working. All right, we've got one security guard. We've got four vendors, two vets, three mechanics. Oh, something's going on. Staff room. Yeah, okay, so they're without power. That's fine. What we'll do is we can build some more power. So we go... Powers, here we go. Water treatment, transformer, solar panels. I could chuck some solar panels on the roof. I didn't even think about that. But then does that get rid of our garden? I would believe so. All right, let's, let's go with the transformer for now. And this can sit on the back here. There we go. And what about the water treatment? How far does that cover? Because I need to get water treatment for the Komodos. So, I'll leave that for now. Do they have a water source in there? They do have a water tap, so I'm not too worried about cleaning up their water right now.
Okay, so that's all good. Um, what am I do now? We're going to try and build a different sort of Komodo dragon habitat. I think I might try and build one that goes down a little bit underground. Um, we've got those guys getting researched. The zebras are researched. The ostriches are dead. <laughs> that's my bad. Um, Alright, so let's go terrain here. And what we'll do is we're going to push this down. So I think we'll just have these kind of together. So if I push this down a little bit. I don't know how well this is going to work. And it is coming up to night time. Let's chuck that down. Alright. So if we do this here, right, this will be like their resting sort of area. And that can go like that. Okay. That is a little bit too much. Let's smooth that out a little bit. Here we go. All right. I don't know how well this is going to work. Barriers, we're just going to go all red brick and then we'll change it. So we'll start here. We'll go around. And then like that. And what we'll do is we'll go curved. So just curve this around. And then can I get it to snap? Alright, there we go. So, I mean, that more or less works. Okay, so that's all set up. Let's get this out this way. Biggie, stop. Sit down. Alrighty guys, so we're building a path out here to the Komodo dragons for our keepers. Alright, we've got some diseased animals coming in. I think this is from our warthogs, just because they're getting old. Uh, oh god, yeah, so that's from that. Can I relocating to? What is going on in here? Who's getting relocated? I can't see anything. Diseased animal, call the vet. Why isn't the vet coming? Low welfare. Why do these guys have low social? I don't understand. They're in a bunch of. They're in a huge herd. Animal is de stressed and trying to hide. Hide over here then, mate. Okay, so that's got. I don't understand. They're just. They've just been spazos. They've got plenty of cover. Hard shelter, 100%. They're just not. They're just refusing to go hide. All right. So this is sort of set up for the Komodo dragons. Let's get one of these gates down on it. There we go. Is that connected? Let's try this again. There we go. That's connected. All right. So habitat. What we need to do 
is chalk. We'll go a large food bowl in here. The question is, where do we want to put it? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I like this enclosure. We'll go there, and then we'll go with a water pipe. Put that there. Okay. So, this would be for our Komodo dragons. i got to change the terrain a little bit. There is no way our keepers are going to be able to get in through there. I don't know. All right, let's just leave it like that. Flattened foundation. What does that do? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's mad. All right, so we can have like a little underground thing. Flatten to surface. Let's just leave it like that for our keepers to get through. Flattened to foundation. All right, do it like that. Yeah, that way our keepers can kind of get in here. I don't know what is going on right now with these terrain tools. All right, we might just scrap this whole bloody thing. Uh, low welfare. What's, what's going on? Quarantine pass. All right. You're just stressed. You, you can go hide, literally. I don't know what your deal is. Quarantine. Yeah, you need to get fed. And that's it. All right, let's close that out. What do we got? Research is complete. Grab the research. Thank you, Mr. Buffalo. All right, that's fine. They keep researching that. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's get our other two Komodos in here. I know they're in the quarantine. Let's get these guys in here. They're a male and a female, so they should also breed. Chuck them in there. All right. You guys still the two. I'm going to call the mechanic to get out here and fix that. And the keeper. And what do we got going on here? We'll call the mechanic out for this one as well. Are you cured? Yeah. These guys are going to start dying soon from old age. I'll have to replace them. Alright, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So we've got the Komodos coming in here. We're going to get some enrichment items for them. Uh, he doesn't cool his enrichments, so we'll chuck a blood scent marker in here. And I know they like frozen pumpkins, so we'll get two of those. And then toys, I know they like the large balls. Okay, and then what we also need is some hard shelter for them. So, I don't know if this is going to work. We tried doing it with rocks before for the last bunch, but it just did not want to work for us. So what we might do is we might try building them a little rock shelter down the bottom here. Don't know how well this is going to work. Like I said, we just it just did not want to work for us last time. I don't know if it's because we just didn't have enough space or like what the deal was, but yeah, we'll just make sure we've layered it up enough for them. And then what we'll do is we'll go terrain and we'll drop this down a little bit. Give them a little hidey hole. And we'll smooth it out. I don't know how well that's going to work, but I mean, whatever. It should be alright. I'm going to go and put some more rocks over the top. Uh, what have we got? Cladding 2x2. Two two. It's too small. I want the big boy. 4x4. Four four, this will do. Alright, and then this, what we'll do is we'll chuck it. Go up a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Now we can add some more little rocks to add some sort of detail as, into it as well. I just want to make sure that we can get their hard shelter accomplished first. That's the big priority. I just want to make sure they got enough hard shelter. All right, this looks like it will work. Hopefully, I don't know. All right, let's try moving this. Can I move this? Yeah, I can. Alright, move this up here for him. And then, is that the blood scent marker? Yeah, we'll move that as well. Okay, and then what we should be able to do is we should be able to push this down. There we go, and we should be able to smooth that out. Okay, now, where are our Komodo dragons in here? Are they just kind of stuck over here? Terrain, pool. I think we just buried one. 
I don't know where they went. There's one there. I see one. Is there one just stuck in the ground now? Habitat. Terrain, plants, and hard shelter. You should have hard shelter. That's hard shelter right there for you. All right, let's see if we can get this going because this is the problem we had last time. However, I did manage to do it for the savannah type creatures, uh, animals, and they loved it. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll find out. Because that looks pretty damn close to me. All right, terrain. Yeah, see, hard shelter. They just they just don't like it whatsoever. So there's too much long grass, and they need more rocks. So we'll get that fixed up for them, and then we'll just probably use one of these basic ones. Painting. What do we want? We want rock rough. Here we go. And we've got a little bit too much rock, so we'll go with some soil. There we go. And we need to get rid of some of the long grass. So there's some down here and there. Is that it? Are we good? You guys happy now? All right, they're happy. Their environment, eh, because there's no plants. So we need Asia and tropical and grassland. So let's go in here. Plants, filters, and we want to go... Uh, tropical, grassland, and Asia. Okay. So, I think we'll just get some smaller sort of stuff. There we go. Can I get rid of that filter? Thank you. Get some of these bushes. So got a bit more coverage for them. And I also want to add some more of the vines but i'll do that down the bottom here because yeah these rocks just don't want to work so what we'll do everyone they all should be happy now nutrition last drink why have you not drinking anything is it because you can't reach <laughs> uh, okay let's try and push this down and now they should be able to explore the rest of their enclosure Here you guys go, you can now get to your water and everything else. Alright, that should be a bit... Oh, they can't get down to the hard shelter, that's probably why. Alright, let's cancel out of that and move that. For the time being, and move that one up there. Okay, and now let's try and push this down. That might be why they weren't, be able, to, they weren't able to get into the shelter as well. That should be right for them, right? Maybe we really just kind of screwed this one up. Alright, let's check them out. See if they are a little bit happy now. See if their hard shelter counts as hard shelter. Because they might be able to reach it this time. These guys are still only babies too, I think. Nutrition, habitat, terrain. Oh, they do. So the sh hard shelter counts now. Awesome. Alright, terrain. What are we missing? Oh, we got too much grass long. Why do we have so much grass long? I thought I changed it. Alright, so we'll get sand now. Painting, and we want some sand. We'll go fine. Oh, it's because of the terrain tool. Still too much long grass. Where's the other long grass? Would it be down in here? There's a little bit of it. Alright, and there's still more long grass. Where is the long grass? Oh, just here. There we go. All right, and they should be happy now. Green. We got greens all around. We got nutrition. I might move this water and the tree because it looks extremely out of place, and I don't think our dudes can get to it. So we'll put the tree there. I might try and change this around a little bit here because we've got a floating soccer ball. Chuck that there, and then we'll go terrain and we'll go pool. Uh, push. Let's try doing this. I'm just trying to get them so that they can get down there. Because right now they're just kind of not moving. Okay, how's that, guys? Because it says zero enrichment, I think. Did it just say zero enrichment? Can we... Social is fine. Enrichment is 100%. Last drink cleanliness is zero. And nutrition is down because of the water, but I don't know why. Maybe we'll just put it up here for him. 
And we'll go like that. Is that better for you guys? Cool keeper to the habitat. See if that works. Oh, we've got another one about to have offspring. She's about to lay. What are her genes like? Genetics. 50%, 40%, 50%, immunity. 83. Damn. Okay, that's pretty good. So, she's got babies. This little stud over here, he's getting jiggy with it. He knows what he's doing. All right, let's take a look. Um, there, things are all good. Enclosure's fine. Um, we're going to change all this now. So, if we go... I'm going to move that too because I don't like where it is. We'll chuck that down the bottom there. And what we'll do is we will change all of this. So we're going to go like that and barriers and like that. And we're going to go and select all of that. Boom. And we're going to go glass. And then what we're going to do... Can I lower it anymore? One meter, that's fine. What we'll do now is this stuff here. From like here. Across. We're going to change that to the concrete, steel mesh, corrugated. And we're going to raise it a little bit. No, not the whole thing. I just want it raised just like that. So people can still see him from the front. They can still see him from above. But it kind of just gives it a little bit more depth. Let's move that over here. All right, where are, our, where are these ones? Because have they moved from here? Okay, so they are moving. So we've got them there. So they can get down here, which is awesome. That's what we want to see. And these guys should be happy now. They should have all their boxes ticked. Can we stop clicking on the bloody plant and click, go to the little Komodo dragon, please? Here we go. Okay, nutrition. Last drink cleansingness. Why? Why is he not drinking water? Current volume unlimited. Yeah, why is it not working? You've got water here, little dude. You don't need water. Like, you don't need a puddle. Try now. I don't know why they're not drinking. Everything else looks fine. Terrain, hard shelter is fine. There's still too much long grass because we've changed it. So let's go terrain and we'll go painting and we'll go sand and change all that. And now we need some rock. And they should all be good. Alright, so that's fine. I don't know why they're not drinking for. Do they want a puddle maybe? Let's go try and do a puddle for them. And do it over here. Alright, so that can be a puddle of water. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll find out. That works, sort of. I don't know if they're going to drink out of it. Terrain. And we'll push this down a little bit. And we'll paint it with some rock. Alright, they should be able to reach that. If the, their hard shelter is counting as shelter, then they should be able to reach that. Should be able to. I don't know. We'll leave them for a bit, see how they go. Okay, something's happening. Low welfare. Social stress, because they've got nowhere to hide, but they've got this big-ass shelter over here. Uh, low welfare. Alright, let's bump up their meal quality, because it looks like these guys aren't getting that great of a meal quality. Grade 1. Oh, we've only got Grade 1. Uh, black Wildebeest. We have a lot of Black Wildebeest. Plain Zebra. Can we upgrade that? Alright, let's go with Grade 3. African Buffalo. We can go with Grade 2. Alright, I need to start changing the research. I think we've got these full anyway. Zebras are full in the African Buffalo. Alright, so... Black Wildebeest, and we'll just go Tetanus. And we've got some visiting players. Let's say hello, get some of those juicy credits. Oh, we've already greeted the maximum number of players. Okay, that's fine. All right. A little bit of uh, an intense one. I don't know, are these guys drinking yet? Are you just wandering around? They're just, they're just wandering around. Animal's last drink was very dirty. You come get some water. I don't understand. All right, what we might try doing is facilities, and we're going to go with a water treatment station. And I think we'll get this branching off. I think we'll put that right there, actually. Let's put that there. It's two grand. It's a lot of bloody money. All right. And we'll go with paths. Align to grid. Get that one. And we will go with... Okay. That's good. And what we'll do is we'll line this one up. Plastic path. Select grid, and we want this coming up to here. Alright. 
Probably should just make it a star walkway as well, but that's fine. Okay. Black Wildebeest is about to have offspring. We've got offsprings coming in. We've got people coming in. All right. Well, we've got no bad things going on at the moment, which is good. We do need to set up some more education for our Komodo dragons. But it is coming up to nighttime, guys. So I think we're going to call it a day. Oh, are you drinking, mate? Please tell me you're drinking. All right. Beautiful. Our new Komodo dragons are at 100%. I don't know how we sell them. Because, like, if she's got babies, we will need to sell them. So, there's still only two, but, uh, yeah, we've got to try and figure that out. So, and we've just had another offspring. Protesters have arrived at our zoo. Why have we still got protesters for? Everyone's been looking after. Animals being protested. Is that 100%? Is that 100%? All our dudes are at 100%, so I don't know what's going on. Terrain, that's fine. Enrichment. Yeah, they're all, like, they're all fine. Animals. I need, I think the food quality is the only thing that we need to change. But aside from that, everyone is else happy. Zebras are at 100%. These guys are all at 100%. The only reason they're not at 100% is because they're just deciding not to go into the shelter. Which I don't know why, because it's... Plenty of space there. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up the video here for today. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I know it's a little bit slow, a little bit different to what the normal sort of arc stuff we um, do. But, um, yeah, something different, something a little bit slow paced, a little bit more fun and uh, managing wise. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soul.